In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Bronny James and his 17 point game. And while that's not a huge game, it is for Bronny and I hate being negative. So let's be positive and see what worked in this game for him to be able to score 17 points. I'm going to say it's probably because his father was on the bench. Let's get down. Let's check it out really quickly. If you want to be able to shoot the ball from further away, make sure to go check out the shooting workout that is down in the description below. Okay, so one thing that he's always been really good at is being able to read defense, see what his teammates are doing, and being able to react to what's happening on the court. So what happens here is his teammate attacks down the middle of the key, and then that draws Bronny James's defender to go and play help defense on that side. What needs to happen on the defensive side is he needs to come play help. This guy needs to drop. That's what needs to happen. That's not what happened, which allowed Bronny James to be able to cut baseline. He's able to then receive that ball in the dunker spot. And if he was actually as tall as what they say he was supposed to be and not six foot two, that would have been probably a dunk. Now, something that a lot of coaches will preach to their players, but the players will never do is what Bronny James does right here from the pass from his teammate. And that is when his teammate passes him the ball. Look at what he is doing right now. If you are a basketball player looking to shoot at a greater shooting percentage from the three-point line, this is what you need to do. You need to have your knees bent, back bent, hands up, feet shoulder width apart. He is currently ready to take a couple of shots. He is not just standing there straight up, up and down, being like, hi, I'm here, I'm going to take a shot. He is ready, he is prepared, he receives that pass, he then plants his right foot. This is something that a lot of shooters will do to be able to get their right side in line. While he could have got this shot off faster if he did that while he was catching the ball, doesn't matter. He was still able to go up with no contest, with no hands up, and he was able to wet that shot. So great preparation by Bronny James. He's probably figuring out that he needs to be able to shoot the ball faster from the three-point line and being able to be prepared at the three-point line to receive a pass to shoot the ball is something that you need to do as a player if you want to make it to the next level. And this is what I mean, Mr. Old School Braun is on the bench, which means that he ain't playing and probably less stress for Bronny James Jr. Now, what we see again, off ball movement, player cuts to the to the to the key, attacks the key, collapses the defense, kicks the ball out to Bronny James right here. At this time, this player has collapsed four players and not this guy, which then leaves Bronny James for essentially an open shot, but off ball movement. Great drift down to the corner. However, he's got somebody who is coming and closing out on him extremely fast. Does he have time to be able to take this shot? Probably not. So he does a quick shot fake. This guy is flying through the air. And now Bronny makes a nice easy layup. Nobody contesting it. Maybe they're being nice to him to allow him to score something before the NBA season starts. So good job to Golden State for boosting his confidence. But that was a great move. Again, another really nice move that we see right here. Once he receives that outlet pass or that kick out pass to him, he does a quick fake towards that left side. Not too sure how this defender was able to get shook by that fake. It wasn't exactly the most greatest of fakes of all time, but one dribble to the right mid-range pull-up jumper, able to hit it. Great job. Now, after this steal right here, Bronny James getting his hands ready, getting that ball on a fast break. What does he do right here? This is showing off his handles. That was very smooth. He lost it a little bit, but I'm going to give it to him. That was a very smooth behind-the-back cross. That was nice. Now, three-on-two situation, what's he about to do? Well, he's got a lot of different options. These guys are currently playing side-by-side -side instead of one and one, which means that, in my opinion, he needs to split these guys and either get to the rim or at least, at the very least, collapse them so that he can kick that ball out to the corners and at least he will be there for the rebounds. Something has to happen. If he was to kick it to this side, he gets the rebound, he gets the rebound, he airs out the shot. And then while Bronny James comes down, he attacks the basket and he was able to split them and make that layup. He was able to make that layup not just because of who he is or what he what the mistakes that the defense made. He gets that ball up early. 
fast. Get that ball above your shoulders as early and as fast as possible. You're going to have some good success on attacking players. And he was able to then finger roll it into the basket. And at least here, he looks hungry on that fast break. He's sprinting down court. we just seen that. Anytime you, you are sprinting down court, trying to get down on the offensive side before the defense gets there, you are in a good shape. You are in a good mindset to be able to get layups or dunks or whatever. If you are looking to be able to shoot the ball from further away, make sure to go check out the shooting workout that is down in the description below. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in my next video.